Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can simply create a beautiful and a mesmerizing marketing advertisement which compels our customers to give a visit to our brand or business websites. So without wasting our time, let's just start. First you need to open your Photoshop and then you need to create a custom canvas. Custom canvas, Let's uh, you need to click on this create a new button. It will open a new document window. Here we need to change a few things. First is width and height and then the background color will change its width 200 and height also 200 and then we need to change its background color from white to another one it is only for the purpose uh, if you later on that uh, uh, try to submit your ad to google google ads dot google uh, there's a policy that you that your ad must have a clear difference with the usual website's background color so in order to save our ad being rejected we need to change it we need to provide a custom border custom border so that's why i'll use this white uh, silver canvas uh, as uh, my border outline to provide a clear difference from the usual website's white background color so over that silver surface we need to create a uh, rectangle or real canvas on which we will uh, draw our other rest of buttons and pictures and other uh, text field components so choose this rectangle tool and uh, create a rectangle over your silver surface that rectangle must be 2 by 2 pixel less than your actual silver canvas so in, only in that case it will provide your uh, silver canvas a little room to become visible let me show you by zooming it here you can see we need to drag it by choosing move tool one pixel down uh, let me just check its width and height here you can see it is 190 by 199 so we need to reduce it one pixel more because it uh, it is just showing the silver surface only from the top and the right side we need to we need to also make it visible from the left and the down side so in order to make it visible from the left and the bottom size, we need to reduce it one pixel by one pixel more. After that, we need to create another rectangle over that white rectangle. It is not visible because of its white color. We need to change its color from white to another one. And we can do this by just clicking on that rectangle layer. Double click on that rectangle layer. It will open a new layer layout window. From here you can just provide whatever you want you can provide you can either provide a color you can either provide a glow or a gradient we'll provide it a gradient and uh, for that gradient i am going to use two colors which uh, i'll show you their hex Th these will be the hex of those colors that i'm going to use as a gradient in my uh, new rectangle uh, let me just change its color select your knobs and change it will open a new color window then you can easily change your colors and change it from black to purple so this will be my gradient uh, leave the rest of things as, as it is click ok uh, here are a few of the things that I want to uh, provide some information about them uh, is this 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 basically is the opacity you can change your opacity to make your uh, uh, surface from visible to invisible etc uh, and this is the angle you can change it to whatever orientation you want so i'll just leave it as it is so this is my new rectangle uh, let me just adjust it from the nook and corners by just zooming we need to drag it one pixel upward and uh, let's just stack it all its corners and sides uh, oops here you can see there's a gap we need to uh, increase its width one pixel so what we can do we can do it uh, by two ways what that i have showed you uh, shown you earlier in that uh, white surface case by just changing its width and height in that uh, uh, small pane window adjustable window and other way is we can just manually uh, drag its nodes to increase its uh, width so uh, you, what, what, what you need to do you need to basically press control and double click on that blue node it will basically independently select allow you to select your uh, independent nodes rather than uh, uh, all those collectively four nodes so as you can see the selected node is blue 
and the unselected nodes are white so let's just drag it one pixel towards right that's it very good so now it, it is precisely coincide with its white surface double click on that zoom tool in order to fit it to 100 percent uh, and after that we need to change its uh, style uh, just press your control button and uh, it will allow you to select your in a single node whatever node you want to select click yes it is asking you that you have transformed your shape so it, it basically demanding or asking for permission so change your rectangle the gradient rectangle as i am doing that is that would be perfect of for our required add and uh, after that we need to create a button so for that just hold that rectangle tool it will show you it will allow you to select a rounded rectangle and create it at the bottom of your canvas when you please your mouse button it will open that property window just leave it as it is and and then what you need to do you need to change your rounded rectangles color uh, the color that i am going to use here oops i have just eaten that you let me just vomit uh, what color i am going to use over uh, that rounded rectangle is this one i'll provide all these combinations in the description of this video too just click double click on your rounded rectangle layer it will open a new layer style window choose this color overlay double click on that color spot it will open a new color window and you can change your color easily and then we'll just give it a little outer glow click on this outer glow change its blend mode from screen to uh, normal and then click on this color picker and change its color to the same color that I, we have given to this button and then change its spread to 50 and size from 7 to 5 and uh, change its range to 100 percent and also change its technique from softened to precise so that 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 that's it just click ok how beautifully we have provided uh, outer and a very soft smooth outer glow mm, there are few things left uh, the product the real product that we are going to uh, show our customers i'm going to show this back it is a uh, oversized we need to change its size too i'll just change its width 200 so that's it just copy this control c in order to copy this product and paste it in your canvas Hoo -hoo, how beautiful it is looking so uh, now there are only just uh, text uh, fields left that we will just provide uh, over here uh, like uh, buy now on our button and discount and other prices uh, let me just adjust my product uh, I think that would be good okay I think that that's good it is, it is looking right now um, now what we need to do we need to uh, write something which can fascinate and attract our customer so select this text tool click on your canvas uh, let just let me just click on this uh, on a red button and uh, how what we can write over here we can write purchase now buy now whatever uh, you like to write i'll just choose this statement buy now oh it is oversized we also need to change its size to how we can change its size click this choose this text tool and uh, click on your uh, newly written text by now it will sh allow you to change its text size on the top of your uh, photoshop window so here we can change its size to almost I think 2 would be good 3? no 3 is a little bigger uh, what about 2.5? yeah I think 2.5 would be the perfect match okay 
three is a bigger one. Let me decide if final. I think 2.5 would be good. It would look perfect. And uh, we can also change its fonts. Let me choose my favorite one, Ubuntu. Ubuntu regular. Okay. Uh, just choose your uh, move tool and drag it at the center of your button. Uh, what what is left? We need to change its color from black to white. Just double click on your buy now layer in your layer window. Uh, now change its color as we were doing earlier, like in our white rectangle, in rounded rectangle, etc. Now you would be very proficient in doing in changing your in changing colors of different layers. So the rest of things. Oops, I have just miscorrected discount. My pinky has a bad habit of changing or uh, miscorrecting spellings. So let me just recorrect it again. Uh, discount price. Okay. So there are few just text fields left that we need to uh, provide or canvas. We need to provide uh, on our uh, ad to show our customers that uh, on which price we are selling our product. You can choose your own choice of figure. I am going to sell my Paris bag on this 240 on this 45 dollars uh, one more text field on in which we will show our customers the actual price the older one basically the older one and uh, we are selling them on this 45 US dollar and the previous price of this product was 75 so change all of these text fields color to white as I have told you earlier you are very proficient you must be very proficient in changing colors because we have did this num numerable times white and 45 USD also white double click and change its color okay white now uh, just adjust their positions drag them randomly and watch where it where they will look good i think as we need to change its size later on so provide it a bigger room and click this 45 usd text field and change its fonts i think four pt would be good no i think five would be right okay change its text size to 580 and uh, reduce this discount price text one pixel more to point its default is 2.5 let's just change it to i think two would be good why it's not changing uh, because we haven't selected it con press ctrl a it will highlight our text and then you can change it okay i think that would be the right font size and uh, I, I, it looks that positions are also good okay uh, now just select this line tool we need to cut our previous or the older or the actual price of our product 45 is basically the discounted price uh, so you can just do this by just choosing your line tool and draw a line over that 75 usd text field i think i have uh, create i think i have drawn a slanted line let's just recreate it whenever you think you have uh, uh, elicited things you can just zoom and uh, watch them or uh, inspect them precisely so that that's it oof oof how beautiful how beautiful it is looking nice it will it will basically bring a flood of customer on our brand or a business website very good perfect looking so uh, what we will do next is we we can save our uh, uh, Photoshop project as a whatever name you want to give your project or PSD file and uh, then we'll just export it in our uh, desired format you can save it over here and then click on this export and then export as and it will allow you to export your project in whatever format you want you can format it in png jpg svg gif i'm going to uh, export it as a jpeg format let's just change its name to 80 
and then save. It's taking few time, few minutes. Okay, that's it. It uh, now our project has been exported. Let's just open it and sh let me show you. Tada! Here is your newly created men mesmerizing marketing ad which allows your which basically compels your customer to at least give a visit to your brand or a business website so that's it all for this tutorial if you find this tutorial informative helpful and useful then just don't forget to subscribe to this computer general purpose and don't forget to leave a comment see you till the next tutorial